From the demolition of a massive 3 km viaduct in a busy residential area, to the tallest bridge ever torn apart, in this video, we'll take a look at the most spectacular bridge demolitions and how they were carried out. Which of the following demolitions is your number one? Let us know in the comments below. And now, let's start. Number 10, the Xianyang Viaduct. The Xianyang Viaduct in Wuhan, China, was demolished despite being only 16 years old. At 3.5 kilometers, it was the longest concrete bridge ever demolished in China. The demolition was complicated by the bridge's location through a densely populated area and the presence of major gas pipelines and power lines beneath it. Engineers used water-filled tanks to cushion the piers and control shock waves and dust. The demolition, executed with precision, successfully brought the entire structure down in a controlled explosion. Number 9. The I-90 Interbelt Bridge. Our next demolition takes us to Cleveland, Ohio, where the Interbelt Bridge once carried Interstate 90 across the Cuyahoga River. By 2009, the aging structure was found to be under severe stress and declared unsafe for supporting eight lanes of traffic. With its structural deficits exposed, plans for renovation were abandoned, and demolition became the only option. In July 2014, the bridge met its end. With 180 pounds of explosives strategically placed on its foundations, a single push of a button brought the entire structure crashing down in a dramatic and carefully orchestrated collapse. Number 8. The Kosciuszko Bridge. The Kosciuszko Bridge, a truss bridge spanning Newtown Creek in New York City, was originally designed to handle around 10,000 vehicles daily, an appropriate capacity for the late 1930s. However, after becoming part of the interstate highway system, the bridge faced a staggering increase in traffic, averaging 180,000 vehicles per day. By 2017, after nearly 80 years of congestion and overuse, the aging bridge had reached its limit. The state of New York opted for its demolition to make way for a modern replacement. In front of a crowd of several hundred spectators, over 900 charges were detonated, sending 10 million kilograms of steel crashing to the ground in a controlled and spectacular display. Number 7. The Henry Lawrence Bridge. The Henry Lawrence Memorial Bridge in Kentucky, built in 1932, was the only crossing over the Cumberland River for decades. After a 2012 incident where a cargo vessel damaged a nearby bridge, the Henry Lawrence Bridge was found to be unsafe and outdated. In 2015, it was scheduled for demolition to make way for a new $128 million arch bridge. On April 11, 2018, controlled explosions brought the bridge down, with debris falling into the Cumberland River. Two cranes were then used to retrieve the steel and rubble, which were repurposed as scrap metal. Number 6. The Morandi Bridge. The Ponte Morandi, built in 1967, was a crucial bridge connecting Genoa to the rest of Italy and France. On August 14, 2018, a 210-meter section collapsed due to poor maintenance and corroded cables, resulting in 43 deaths. The disaster, Italy's 12th bridge collapse since 2004, raised concerns about road safety. In 2019, the remaining parts of the bridge were demolished through a controlled implosion. The event, viewed as symbolic, marked the end of a tragic chapter for Genoa, removing a constant reminder of the disaster and allowing the city to move forward. Number 5. The Tappan Zee Bridge. The Tappan Zee Bridge, the longest bridge ever demolished in New York, spanned nearly 5 kilometers across the Hudson River. Built in the 1950s, it was designed to last 50 years but exceeded its lifespan by 2010. Its demolition occurred in two phases, the western section was dismantled and sunk to create artificial reefs, while the eastern section was brought down in a controlled explosion on January 15, 2019. Thousands gathered along the Hudson to witness the iconic bridge's final moments, marking the end of an era. Number 4. The Saskatoon Traffic Bridge. Next, we head to Canada, to the city of Saskatoon. The Saskatoon Traffic Bridge, the city's oldest bridge, served vehicles and pedestrians for over a century. In 2007, decorative lights were added to enhance its appearance, but they inadvertently revealed a serious issue. The lights would occasionally disconnect due to excessive vibrations, prompting a closer inspection of the bridge's condition. Engineers discovered significant corrosion throughout the structure, leading to its indefinite closure. After evaluating the costs, the city determined that demolition was more practical than expensive maintenance. Number 3. The Jamestown Bridge. 
Completed in 1940, this bridge spanned over 2 kilometers and cost approximately $3 million to build, equivalent to around $64 million today. By 1992, however, the aging structure had become obsolete due to its limited capacity. Its replacement, the newer and wider Jamestown Verrazano Bridge, had already opened alongside it. For the next 14 years, the old bridge stood and used until its 335-meter-long central span was finally demolished. The United States Coast Guard had deemed it a navigation hazard for ships passing through the bay. After the demolition, the steel was collected by barges for recycling, while the concrete was repurposed to create artificial reefs at the mouth of Narragansett Bay. Number 2. The US-281 Bridge The US-281 Bridge in Texas, built in 1936, was demolished in 2013 after becoming too old and narrow for modern traffic. Explosives were used to bring the structure down into the Colorado River in one dramatic collapse. Over the following days, cranes on barges retrieved the debris, and the scrap metal was repurposed by a local recycling company into art sculptures, giving the bridge a new cultural legacy for the city. Number 1. Reinsdorf Viaduct Finally, we turn to the tallest bridge ever demolished, the Reinsdorf Viaduct. Built in 1967, this towering structure in Wilnsdorf, Germany, stood an impressive 70 meters above the ground. Its demolition was part of a broader modernization effort in North Rhine-Westphalia, where more than 60 bridges required urgent repairs or replacements. By December 2021, a new replacement bridge, constructed right beside the old viaduct, had already been inaugurated. The demolition of the Reinsdorf Viaduct presented unique challenges due to its height and close proximity to the new bridge. In February 2022, engineers carefully placed 120 kilograms of explosives on the middle and lower sections of its pillars. The charges were detonated in a precise sequence, with the middle section going first, followed by the lower section. This controlled implosion ensured the structure collapsed neatly within its narrow footprint, completing the historic demolition safely and efficiently. The demolition of the viaduct went off without a hitch, with the entire structure collapsing exactly as planned. The debris fell neatly onto a prepared bed below, completing the operation flawlessly. As a bonus, let's look at the Broadway Bridge in Little Rock, Arkansas. While demolitions can be immensely satisfying, sometimes things don't go as expected. Scheduled for demolition in October 2012 due to structural deficiencies, the Broadway Bridge was targeted with a synchronized explosion aimed at its weak points. However, to everyone's surprise, the blast didn't bring the bridge down, and it remained standing. It took demolition experts another five hours to finally dismantle the 93-year-old bridge, using cables attached to tugboats to pull it apart. Which of these implosions were the most spectacular? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe to Talktive. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.